Hi everyone, Shane Armand Rowe here, and today we're going to look at Crab Champions. Just a quick look. This is a really neat game that plays amazing on deck, and I wanted to share it with you. Essentially, you are a crab with a machine gun, and uh, you can jump, double jump, um, you can hover in the air. You can also do melee attacks, as well as throw sort of a bomb, if you will. So, these are the weapons at your disposal, and of course, your goal is to survive in this sort of roguish scenario. Now, these are all things that we can't buy yet, but uh, these are things that will come in your future as you play the game. Over here, you can see your stats, uh, see what you've been up to, you see what I've been up to, and uh, there's some cosmetic stuff that you can eventually unlock, blah, blah, blah. You know, there's all sorts of stuff here to look at. There's something you can unlock with some keys. Don't know about that just yet. Um, and, of course, you can play multiplayer co-op with your friends. We're just going to do the single-player stuff today, though. And uh, you can change your difficulty. I'm currently on normal, despite the fact that it showed easy. I'm actually on normal mode, so you'll have to cut me a break. Here's where you start a new run. So this is your solo run. You can see these are each of the legs of your journey. And so this is an arena, right? So you just got to defeat everybody. Um, the, the enemy crabs, obviously you can just see I just blew something up. Those big pods there are explosive. And if you blow those up, oh, like a, a ring flies out and kills everything around it. So you don't want to be anywhere near it, but uh, you'd like your enemies to be there. There's all sorts of special crabs like poison crabs and sniper crabs and all sorts of different things for you to kill. Once you've killed everything on the round, you don't have to go and pop all the, the bubbles or anything of the little mounds of goo. Um, but you do want to look around and make sure there's nothing special. We're going to see a little something special here in a minute, but there's nothing special here. At the end of the round, you get a chest. Uh, it could be damage, it could be health, it could be something, and you'll be able to pick one of the weapons, which could be a power-up for one of your existing weapons or a new weapon. Now you can choose your next destination. Do you want to go for a health chest over the arena or an elemental chest over the arena? Okay. So um, we're going to go for the health, and I say that, and I chose that because it's likely that I will be lower on health at the end of this round, and I'll need the health help. The only way you can get help is through basically pickups. You can't, you can't get yourself more health. Now you can see here I'm starting to get a nice little rhythm. There's a lot of jumping. There's a lot of blowing stuff up that are explosive. Jumping, uh, sort of kiting them around, getting them in the line of large explosions like that one, and boom, and you just clear the island. Now, again, we're going to look around real quick before we go open the case, just to make sure there's nothing here. And you, like I said, we're going to show you a couple of things that are here in just a moment. Oh, look, see, look over on that dock. There's a couple of things that you might not have even noticed. You sort of ran on over to that chest. Let's take a look, a gold totem. We have to give up half our health for that. Oof. What about the other one? I don't want to give up half my health. Uh, get crystals for 35% of your health. Ah, if we're going to give it, we're going to go 50. And we get a black hole. Grenades blow up into black holes. That sounds pretty good, and it costs us half our life. So, um, there was also some crystals there that I missed there to the left. That's okay. We'll, uh, you'll see more. See right there? Yeah, I missed those. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and pick up. So, these are health related items. We're going to go ahead and choose that, and we'll choose what our next leg is going to be. Yeah, energy rings are sort of a pain. Let's go for this, though. Critical hits. All right, so here we are at a sort of the same biome, but a different level. Um, we're still crab on the beach. And, uh, yeah, you got to keep moving. I'm telling you, you don't want to get stuck anywhere. You don't want to stop moving. And you want to keep shooting. Now, there is an accuracy for maximum combos. Um, it, like, right now, I'm still sort of getting the feel of the mechanics, so I'm not chasing the combo bonuses yet. I'm just trying to figure out where everything is and how to kill everything uh, and trying to get my rhythm. Okay, so I'm looking around. I don't see any extras. I don't see any uh, extra crystals or anything, so I think we're good to go ahead and move along here. Okay, this is a critical chest, so it's going to offer us critical related items. Um, so we'll grab one of these after I look at them all. You get an idea of what they are. And we grab them. And now we're going either for an elemental chest or random chest, and this is gonna be a horde mode. It feels a lot like arena. I'm not exactly sure what the difference is in horde mode. Um, survive the horde of enemies. Well, that's kind of what you were doing in the arena too, right? So I don't know what separates the horde. 
But now you can see we have different we have different uh, enemies all over the place. Ones that put up force fields, um, some that can snipe shoot you from across the map. Um, there is a limit, of course, how big the map is. You will eventually run into a wall if you go into the water too deep. And we're going to sit here. We're at 12 health at this point. Now, I'm not looking super good. But we're blasting stuff. We're trying to stay away from things that explode. The other crabs like to melee you. Um, I don't quite have the rhythm for melee. You can also melee, but that means getting close. You know, getting too close, well, you know, bad things happen. So I'm a distance kind of guy. But there you go. I got the last of the uh, explosive guys, and he took out the rest of them. So I'm just kind of peek around here a little bit, make sure I'm not missing any extra goodies. Doesn't look like it. You can run. They're like dashes. Um, that's what I'm doing here is I'm dashing. And I highly recommend, unless you just love the bumpers on the Steam Deck, which I do not, you'll probably want to map the bumpers to the uh, top right paddles. That works really, really well for me. But, you know, listen, if you like the bumpers, good for you. All right, so now we've got uh, more critical stuff here. Um, okay, and now we're ready to go to the midterm level, the middle level here, which is the shop. Now, here's a couple of clues for you. First off, there's free health over here. All those little green pickups are all health, so don't buy anything until you've topped yourself off. And there are also free crystals here. So don't go and spend your money or decide what you're going to spend your money on until you harvest any and all crystals that happen to be available. There's also reasons why that, uh, that other health is going to help you out. So let's take a look. Gain crystals uh, when healing. Nah. Vampire. Uh, okay. I can see, you can see I have 155 in the upper left-hand corner to spend. So these are all fairly cheap. You can re-roll those for crystals um, to the little guy on the left there. But I'm going to go ahead and pick up the bullseye and the vampire. And sometimes you can actually buy a health increase. If you did, you would go back and pick up those green, the green uh, health pickups because, well, you have more maximum health and it doesn't fill your maximum health. It leaves you where you're at. Okay, so now we're ready to go again for the next island, if you will. So this is island six. Um, I die on island six a lot, so you can pretty much assure, be assured that I'm gonna die here. Um, but again, you're, now you're seeing some more of these bugs. You're seeing a lot more uh, strategies of trying to kite. Um, a lot of the bug damages will damage other bugs. All right, so keep that in mind. Uh, this looks like a really sort of goofy shooter, but it's a lot deeper than it initially looks. There's all sorts of strategies and stuff that you'll want to take into consideration. Looks like fun, doesn't it? It's like, uh, it's under nine bucks right now. It's in early access, but for nine bucks, um, I've already gotten more than two hours of gameplay out of this, which means uh, I've paid for the game as far as I'm concerned, and I'm dead. There's your stats at the end. I will tell you to um, hop over to the settings and turn that 144 FPS down to 60. Um, Chris Henschel tipped me off on that. It seems to save a good deal of battery life, so don't forget to do that. And you can change these other settings as you like, but as you can see, it runs really, really well as it is. All right, thanks so much for watching. You know what to do, like, subscribe, hit the little bell. You guys know the drill. Thanks so much for watching and take care.